Thank you, Kelly. 618 right now. According to the National Council on Aging, one in four older Americans falls every year. Falls are the leading cause of both fatal and non fatal injuries for people who are 65 and older. So, what are the risk factors and what can we do to prevent this from happening to our kupuna? Join us now with more is Elena Ijasic, Falls Prevention Performance Improvement Lead at the Queens Medical Center. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. So first of all, why are falls such a big concern for our kupuna? Our kupuna are often on lots of medications. They can have poor vision, poor balance. Um, and so when they do fall, it can lead to severe injury, fracture, and disability. And what can we do to prevent these falls from happening? At home, we can make sure our rooms are well lit, free and clear of clutter. This includes those cute decorative rugs that we often like to have on the floor. Mm -hmm. We can also make sure that in the bathroom, we have handrails next to the toilet and in the shower, as well as a seat in the shower. Because even a small rug, someone can just easily trip over it. Definitely, definitely. That's why it's important to make sure our hallways are clear. And what about in the hospital? How do you prevent falls when patients are there? We ask our patients to use their call bell so that we can help them. Um, it's also important that they, um, um, if they are at risk, mm -hmm. we are able to assist them. So we use our gate belt. Okay. We're going to call Chris back in because you're going to do a demonstration on this gate belt and how it all works. So a gate belt is a device we use in the hospital to assist our patients. If you're assisting somebody at home, you can use a regular belt as well. So it goes around the waist mm -hmm. and we fasten it. We use this to help our patients walk. So we just slip it on and that way it provides an extra grip. So I stand slightly behind and to the side and hold it from the back with my hand facing up. Mm -hmm. So as he walks... So imagine me, this is uh, 30 I years go with from him. now. <laughs> and if he were to uh, lose his balance, uh -huh. I can oh, help okay. pull him towards me and center his balance. So can you use any belt at home or does it have to be a gate belt? So any type of belt can be turned into something like that? Definitely, any belt works. Okay, all right. And how does it feel, Chris? Is it comfortable? Is it it's comfortable? I feel, I feel uh, very much supported if I was to fall over. Mm -hmm. feel, oh, oh. Not going. Yes, not going anywhere. It's like... And what if, it's, you know, because Chris is taller than you, bigger than you, mm -hmm. um, any tips on how to handle patients or your, your uh, kupuna at home? Definitely. So you don't want to lift up. If somebody begins to lose their balance, mm -hmm. you just want to sit them onto your leg and slide them down to the floor. Okay, okay. So it looks hard, but it's actually, it, it's pretty simple. So yeah. anyone could do it. Anybody can do it. Okay, and what's the call to action here? What do you want to tell people for the final message? We definitely want people to be safe. Um, so we want to make sure that if you are, um, you do have a family member who's at risk for fall, that you do um, provide assistance. We do have training as well. You can contact us at Queens. Okay, and then the uh, preventing falls, you can call 691-5353 for more information. Of course, we'll have that number on our website. Chris, you doing good? I'm doing good. I feel very yeah, supported. Feel safe. I'm still I think, very safe. I think we can use that now, but for different purposes, because he likes to wander <laughs> off sometimes, especially when there's a big That's surf. Good. <laughs> All right, thanks, Lena. Thank you. For being here. And Chris, thank you. Good job. All right.